Have you ever asked yourself, which truck should I buy? And you really just can't seem to figure it out. Now, obviously, you have JB Reviews to help you out. So I'm going to really make things complicated on my channel. I'm not even joking. Sometimes people like laugh at me because like I'll say I love a truck and then I say I hate it, whatever, whatever. But today we're going to do a video discussing should you buy an HD truck over a half ton truck? And I'm going to give you three reasons why you should. So let's get into the video. Now, before we get started, I have to give a special shout out to Fitzgerald Automall and Frederick, one of my friends here, David Harrison. He works here. If you are in the market, be sure to give him a call. I'll put his information in this video, but he is helping me with this video. In any video I do at Fitzgerald, he always helps me with it. But without further ado, let's talk about frame and suspension. A lot of times, HD trucks get a bad rap for the really, really stiff rides, not great to live with day to day. And I think that if you have never driven one of these trucks before, you're kind of doing yourself an injustice because that's not the case. Now, one thing I like about GM trucks is it's like a love-hate type thing for some people, but they do use independent front suspension on both of these trucks. So that does really help with on the road manners when it comes down to comfort. And you can see, let me turn the steering wheel for both of the trucks so you can see the uh, suspension a little bit better. Hold on one second. So starting with the 1500, you can see you have a coil spring, Rancho shocks because of the off-road package or Z71, I think it comes available with that too. And as I mentioned, independent front suspension. This does have, it looks to be aluminum control arms. And you can kind of see that sway bar right there. But look at just the overall structure of it too. The control arm is connected to where the strut is in the spring. And then down below, you can kind of see how it's all structured there now walk over here both trucks have an independent front suspension so that being said road manage is going to be kind of similar kind of i'm not i'm probably reaching a little bit but you don't have a a spring on the hd trucks and i actually did not know that so i learned something new today because i never really got up close to person like this hopefully you guys can see this but look at how they uh, position the uh, control arms on the GMC. Look how beefy the sway bar is. This is a lot more robust, but it's really essentially the same design. So with that being said, I think that this truck is gonna have very similar you know, handling comfort compared to the 1500s. Now I'm probably reaching a little bit. I know I probably am, but when you look at the suspension overall, it's very similar. Now check out how beefy this frame is on the HD truck. I mean, this is definitely a lot more robust, it's a little bit thicker, a lot more going on under here. And if we walk out back, You guys will see the suspension is a leaf sprung suspension so you will have five leaves in this main pack and then look how they uh equipped it to the frame now let's take a look at that 1500. so you can clearly tell just how different the frame the way they position the leaves, it's just not as robust, but they still do use a leaf pack out back. Now this has three leaves, but overall, I mean, just look at the construction of this frame. It's a lot less robust. And I think for the slight difference you're gonna feel in road manners, the AC truck definitely wins, just my opinion. Alrighty, so here's the second point I wanna make. When you think about a half ton and a HD truck, HD trucks do come from the factory lifted. I think this is probably one of the best things because all you have to do with a HD truck, unless you're one of those guys who just, this lift's not enough for you, which there's a lot of guys out there like that, but all you have to do is level this truck. And I think it will look just as mean. And you can tell it does sit slightly higher. Now getting the AT4, 
it does not increase your ride height all it does is just change the appearance maybe add downhill assist skid plates things like that but on the trail boss they do lift this truck i believe by two inches so when you think about it you can clearly tell the gmc sits slightly higher than the silverado still so if you want to buy a truck you don't really plan on lifting it but you like that higher look you definitely get that with the gmc sierra chevy silverado hd trucks and similar to the lift you obviously have to talk about wheels and tires you're going to have an eight lug design compared to a six lug design here on the 1500s see that you also have to talk about tire capacity now i'm not going to pick on this tire but for the most part you're not going to get a robust lt tire that you would get like on a truck like this typically when you're buying a hd you're going to have all the necessary hardware so the truck has the lift has a higher stance and on top of that you get a more robust tire let me show you what i'm talking about here so this tire has a max uh, load capacity 1700 kilograms 3750 pounds uh, for a single tire and 80 psi if you are buying a half ton the tires are going to look a little different for you so this again this is not a fair comparison but these are typically the tires you're going to see for a half ton truck so right down here 1180 kilograms 2000 601 pounds 44 psi sometimes this might go up by like 200 pounds for the capacity and maybe up to 51 psi but you're gonna have to change these tires if you want to really tow a little bit more so i do think with the extra lift more robust tires this is my second point i think this is why you should definitely look at a big hd truck like this all righty so you guys know what i'm about to say next because my channel is always about this so let's talk about towing now there's a few points i'm going to make in this part of the video number one when you think about towing you saw the frame you saw the suspension right if you do plan on towing occasionally or even if you're just a weekend warrior when you have your family inside of a truck you want to have the most overbuilt truck you can possibly have right and i think any hd truck will definitely check that box for you because the frame the suspension the wheels and tires they use is all really designed to do one purpose and that's lift heavy weight and tow so when you think about that when I mean, you look at the class 5 receiving hitch on this truck this is a two and a half inch opening and this is going to be able to have more capacity versus the class 4 receiving hitch on this 1500 it's going to have a two inch opening and it's not going to have the same amount of capacity another thing to consider when you're thinking about towing is weight the weight of a truck is going to really help with the stability going down the road today you can probably hear a little bit of wind hitting my mic here and on these types of days i would strongly want this truck for towing let me show you the curb weight of both trucks real quickly so check this out the curb weight of this 1500 is going to be 5224 pounds and the curb weight of this truck is going to be 7,299 pounds. Now, I didn't mention this earlier in the video, but these are both gas trucks. So if you had a diesel, this would probably be probably five or 600 pounds heavier, if not a little bit more, because the transmission and the engine get heavier on that configuration. Now, we do know that towing capacity, this truck's going to win that 100%. But apart from towing capacity, another thing that you really need to consider is the max payload which is 3,351 pounds for this HD 2500 now let's take a look at the Silverado max for this truck is going to be 1,776 pounds so if you want to add any passengers if you want to add any gear and if you want to hook up a trailer to this hitch you have to stay within that 1776 pound was that what it was yeah 1776 pound payload capacity on this truck it is very hard to max it out if you were comparing a trailer that could be towed safely with both of these trucks you'll have more than enough capacity and if you ever decide you want a bigger trailer 
you don't have to upgrade your truck because you already have the biggest truck you could ever really need i mean of course there's restrictions on this truck too but if you're looking to maybe tow a you know 36 foot travel trailer something like that this is more than enough truck even a 30 foot fifth wheel maybe 34 foot as long as you stay within that payload with the pin weight that gets added this is the perfect truck for you all righty so let's talk about this half ton for a second now obviously if you do not ever plan on towing if you don't ever plan on even putting anything in the bed this is the perfect truck overall i think that at the overall cost difference between these two trucks the silverado 1500 gmc sierra 1500 is always going to win this battle against its bigger sibling so i hope this video was helpful uh, I am definitely going to be doing a fuel economy run and I'm going to test what I said in this video to see if it's accurate. I'm going to drive these trucks and I'm going to give you my impressions on on-road comfort and we're going to see which trucks going to give you the better fuel economy. So I hope you are subscribed to the channel. I hope you are. If you're not, this is a perfect time to because I'm unemployed and I'm doing this full time. So that's a great reason to subscribe to my channel, right? 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 Maybe? Now before I end the video, I want to make something else clear. You see that they show you your max conventional trailer weight is 9,400 pounds and the max tongue weight is 940 pounds. I always recommend when you're looking at trucks like this, you really want to consider the weight, right? So I would probably max out around 6,000 pounds for a trailer. So GVWR, maybe 7,000 GVWR or less because as I mentioned about the weights of these trucks, you really start to feel it. And you don't have to take my word for it. I've towed with half tons, I've towed with HD trucks, I've towed with dualies. I love the Chevy Silverado. This is probably the best towing half ton on the market. But even with this truck, you're still gonna have a little bit of you know, fatigue over time when you're towing with a smaller truck compared to this one. Now, I think you guys did see the towing capacity, but let me just show it to you one last time here. You can see this truck has a conventional trailer weight of 14.5, 1,450 pound tongue weight. And then this truck is more set up for towing a gooseneck and 2,490 pounds for the max tongue weight. So the tongue weight is higher than the payload of the 1,500. So if that doesn't, you know, make the point, I don't know what will. So again, I'm not against buying half ton trucks. This truck definitely serves its purpose, but if you do plan on towing a heavy trailer, and you want to max out around 9,400 pounds or whatever the towing capacity is on this truck, I think that that's not a good idea. And this is definitely the way you want to go. And it just looks cooler. So again, I hope this was helpful. Be on the lookout for the next video, as I mentioned. I am going to be doing a drive impressions for both. And I get to drive them back to back to really give you my impressions on how well they handle. So thanks again, and I will see you soon.